on the issue of this land and property tax which should be deleted from the act so accordingly uh, we have decided to delete all this land and property tax from the act that uh, to go ahead with ULB election with 33% reservation today meeting of this uh, select committee has been convened to examine on the issue of this ULB election with uh, 33% women reservations. The assembly has been summoned on 9th November. That is an uh, emergency session. So before that, uh, the committee has to the, the committee has to uh, examine and take a decision and submit our recommendation to the assembly, so that the amendment of the act. Nagaland Municipal Act 2023 can be placed in the assembly and passed by the assembly so that we can have uh, election after the assembly passed the act. So with a short notice we convened the meeting, we have discussed. After consultation with these uh, civil societies, tribal, tribal hohos, we will adopt resolution and prepare our com uh, recommendation to the assembly so for that uh, we have shared our mind that uh, to go ahead with ULB election with 33 percent reservation because supreme court has not passed any judgment so far but if you keep on waiting for the sub supreme court to deliberate judgment or if you keep on struggling it will be a loss to the people so state government has decided that uh, we need to go ahead with this uh, ULB election with 33 percent reservation so on this matter we have discussed and we have decided to have a public consultation meet uh, last time also the CSOs and tribal laws had given their green thumbs up to hold the elections as well. Uh, this was before the assembly session and then the bill was passed. So now a law has to be uh, passed, sir. No, the bill was not passed. The bill was introduced. introduced yes, the bill was introduced, but it was not passed. But there are some certain uh, remark given by some civil societies mm -hmm. on the issue of this land and property tax, which should be deleted from the egg. So accordingly, uh, we have decided to delete all this land and property tax from the egg. And on top of that, some section of people mm, uh, went against this uh, provision that uh, will chairperson, mm, chairperson should be reserved from women. So women should represent as chairperson. That provision also to be deleted. So that provision also we have discussed and we intend to delete that, uh, that uh, parts of the act also. So these are little changes that uh, we intend to make and we'll explain to the civil society and then take it to the house for passing the bill. So is the government of Nagaland prepared in case of any Incident that might occur, like the last time where two lives were lost, is the government going to be fully prepared this time that no such occurrences should happen? If no, that is why we are having consultation. If the public understand together, then we are. If we are on the same page, why is such incident to take place? Because people do not understand at that point of time. But now everybody understood that elections should be held and development should come in our town. So when people are understand together, I think uh, there should not be any problem. For that, we are going to convene a meeting. So, uh, so uh, as of now, if I'm not mistaken, uh, please correct me if I'm wrong, the, the, the select committee is of the uh, decision that the military person reservation will be implemented. No, that the state government, the state cabinet has already decided, but select com committee, 
the objective of select committee is uh, see whether this women reservation act in principle article 371a or not that we uh, we have to cross examine and uh, on our own volition we have agreed to go ahead with this election with 33% reservation mm. Mm. Uh, sir i think this issue was also addressed in the second session of the assembly where uh, a tribal hoho said they were not uh, consulted before the bill was introduced, sir. And I think the minister also raised this issue uh, in the SMB, sir. So this time, um, have you addressed this issue and have you spoken to them as well, sir? Yeah, on 1st September, a uh, meeting was convened, consultation made. There, we have explained, uh, clause by clause, to, to make them understand what are the contents in the act. and what are we going to propose for amendment which are to be deleted from the act and, and where we have considered to their demand we are going to explain to them <laughs>